It's a bill that would allow Floridians to carry concealed weapons without a permit, and it's already drawing controversy. NBC6's Nico Clemens has reaction from both sides of the aisle. It's a controversial bill proposal drawing mixed reaction. I think it's a bad move. This bill is a big step to help the average law-abiding citizen. Republican lawmakers introduced House Bill 543 Monday, which would allow people to carry a concealed weapon without a license. Right now, people who want to carry a concealed weapon need to apply for a state permit and go through a process that requires a background check and training. This bill would eliminate those requirements. All these members of our society and, and, and of our power and representatives, they are making this decision in, in a collective way. Manuel Oliver is an advocate for tighter gun regulations after losing his son in the 2018 massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. As we approach the fifth anniversary and next legislative session, he says, I think it's a slap on our face. Republicans are calling the bill constitutional carry, saying it'll keep people from having to jump through hoops to get a permit. It is also not going to change who can and cannot carry a gun. People that are prohibited now will still be prohibited. Meanwhile, some Democrats are calling it the untrained carry bill. Democratic Representative Christine Hanchowski, who was mayor of Parkland at the time of the school shooting, has major safety concerns about removing the training requirement. I just don't feel that that's uh, a very responsible thing to do. The Orange County Sheriff wrote in the Sun Sentinel, quote, more people carrying firearms, either openly or concealed, without proper training, will inevitably lead to more shootings. Oliver says with more people carrying guns without restrictions, Florida will become a more dangerous state. How is that convenient for the police? How is that convenient for any investigation? More than two and a half million Floridians have a permit to carry a concealed weapon, and that's according to the Florida Department of Agriculture. In Miami, Nico Clemens, NBC6 News.